Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our Tom fondly. You hear that kids? I'm getting sick. <coughs> I'm getting sick. <sighs> <laughs> Welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo where I can't even do air horns. New nonsense, new makeup nonsense, new makeup nonsense bingo. No, I, I got it right. New makeup nonsense bingo. <laughs> Okay. Hey, this idea was created and crafted by my wonderful friend on YouTube, Emily Han Han. Essentially, this is a new makeup release video, um, except we comb through Instagram, go to the top makeup accounts, take a bunch of screenshots, throw them in a folder, use a random number generator, bloopity blop blop, use these fun bingo cards and call on the images as if we were playing bingo. We also have quite a few adult libations um, because nothing says makeup like alcohol. <laughs> Besides Emily and myself, Audra from Audra at Home also partakes in the madness. Definitely, definitely, definitely go check those babies out and tell them I said hi and do air horn sounds because obviously I can't do them, but I know they can. It's gonna be a rough one today, all right? I'm pre-filming a lot of stuff too. You'll notice my voice kind of goes in and out. I know when the beast is coming and the beast is coming. So I need to make sure I get all the content I can get out before I lay like a mummy in my tomb. Anyway, here are the possible makeup products that we may or may not be talking about today. This is my bingo card. And without further motherfucking ado, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. I am drinking a hot tea because my throat hurts. And I would have a hot toddy, but I just, you know when you just feel like, that's how I feel. <laughs> I feel like I'm traveling interdimensions right now. <laughs> I think it's the science infection eating my brain. All right, let's talk about makeup, y'all, okay? Oh, by the way, I have a fun mug. I recently became a universal, I, I do not want to dump hot tea on me. I recently became a universal pass holder, Universal Studios pass holder, and there's a Starbucks in there. And the Starbucks has this really cool mug that has all this like fun stuff. It has like all the beautiful things that I love about Universal Orlando, like King Kong and King Kong <laughs> and King Kong. <laughs> No, it's just a lot of stuff. This is really cute though. I love these um, wish you were here mugs or whatever. They're really cute. I have one for Animal Kingdom and now I have one for uh, Universal Studios. So I'm living the dream y'all. <laughs> okay, hopefully the tea will help me because my throat is like, it sounds okay right now. Like I sound like a little nasally, which I do apologize if it's annoying. It's annoying for me too, bro. Um, but I sound kind of like sexy hot. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna sound like a frog, so. <sighs> Kiss this voice goodbye. Boof. All right, let's see. What do we have today? Because we have quite a few makeup products to talk about. A lot of holiday bullshit. Hence our new square holiday bullshit. <laughs> we also have spooky ooky makeup too. We have a lot of stuff. So, let's see. What is the first thing we're gonna pull? Oh, ma'am. Okay, listen, 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 listen. I, okay, listen. <laughs> I love that I feel like Urban Decay woke up and said, you know what, I choose violence. <laughs> I love that I feel like I can officially shut the fuck up because this is everything that I want from Urban Decay. Yes, it's still called Naked, whatever. Like we're never gonna break the naked. It's a product that's never gonna die, unfortunately. It's just like a light bulb click, like, oh, it should be a product that never dies. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. This is everything that I just, I love and want from Urban Decay. So the packaging is fucking awesome. It's in collaboration with Robin Eisenberg, which I am not 
entirely familiar with that person, but they created such a beautiful fucking cover. It's alien-esque, it's funky, it's everything that I want. It's everything that I want from this brand. And the color story, the color story, I'm gonna start crying because this is a beautiful moment we need to mark today. Because the color story, bitch, it matches. It matches the outside of the packaging. And that's all we ever wanted from Urban Decay. We were all rooting for you, okay? <laughs> Insert Tyra Banks meme here. We were all rooting for you. And I'm so happy to say that I am like, I'm standing up and I'm like, this bitch, she literally told me to go fuck myself. I applaud you. I love this. I absolutely love this. Problem is, it's available in South America. I'm so jealous of you babies. I really hope that y'all have been loving the shit out of it. If you can find it and you've picked it up, let me know because I would love to know, like, is it really good quality? But considering, I know I just recently talked about the Hulk palette. You know, like, I like it. I do. I like it for what it is, but I feel like this is what I've been waiting for. It's just the colorfulness of it. It looks like it has kind of fun textures, even though it's probably going to be very similar to, like, the fucking Moon Dust Shadows or whatever. So I don't have too many expectations in that department, but I just think it's overall just more aesthetically pleasing than what they have been putting out uh, for the past few years. This is fucking great. I love it. I absolutely fucking love it. I love it. I love it. I, there's nothing more to say except I want it. Give it to me now, daddy. <laughs> The only thing, what my biggest complaint, you know, but again, it's just something that is just never gonna go away, is that I really wish they would depart from the Naked family, because I feel like the Naked family, they had their moment, it's time to go. Last call, bitch, it's just, you're not looking well. No one's taking you home, all right? Just fucking wrap it up so we can close this shit down and we can all go home. Like, that's what I feel when I look at the word naked. I'm gonna call this a product that never dies because much like Pillow Talk, which I can't even do the voice for Pillow Talk right now, but much like Pillow Talk or Smashbox Primers or NARS Orgasm, it's just something that's just going to outlive us all. It's gonna be a nuclear war and it's gonna be Twinkies. And the cockroach is gonna be wearing NARS Orgasm. Like, that's just, it is what it is. So like, I understand it, but I just wish that maybe the next round and they'll start departing. I mean, I'll, I'll give them credit though, because they have been putting out palettes that have not been a part of the Naked family, but those palettes are just not at the level. You know, like they're, they're okay. Like they're not fucking amazing. I need you to bring it. Come on, come on, bring it baby. So with that said, I love this and I cannot wait for this to come here because I cannot wait to put this on my motherfucking face. So you know what? We're gonna do two squares right now because I want to put this on my motherfucking face and this is something that is never gonna fucking die. <laughs> so you're welcome. There is, I don't, I think this, this collection broke me, all right? Besame. Our good friends over at Besame, okay? They came out with the motherfucking villains collection, okay? And I know last Makeup Hangover video, I talked at great length, right? About how wonderful the Catrice and Essence collaborations are with Disney because they are perfect, they're perfect. They're like everything that I want them to be and more. And then, Besame came out like a bat out of hell and was like, oh, you think that's nice? <sighs> Look, bitch, look what we can create. And my fucking heart dropped and I was like, I need to have everything. This all looks fucking amazing. It's everything that I wanted it to be. I know Besame's packaging is very luxe. The products inside of it, ugh, debatable, but the whole presentation of it is fucking wonderful. Now, I was totally, totally on board with picking something up until I saw the motherfucking price. And I thought to my, like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, uh -huh, in this economy, no bitch, I don't think so. I, I don't even think I can get fucking blackout enough to want to purchase that because in the back of my mind, in the back of my mind, I remember, uh, I remember, <laughs> I remember, the Halloween Spider Compact, and how I spent $100 on that compact for a highlighter that was not pan embossed and that hit hard pan, okay? So when I look at this, I go, do you really wanna have a bad day? I don't think so, Tim. Let's talk a little bit about this collection. Obviously, the fucking clear winner here is the Ursula Metal Compact. For $225, you hear that? Do you want me to scream it a little bit louder? $225. Not in this economy, bitch. <laughs> like, no. Custom cast. Oh, of course it's custom cast. It better be perfection. Golden shell compact, just like the iconic shape of Ursula's necklace. I don't know why I'm getting angry. <laughs> Actually, I know every reason why I'm getting angry. That houses Ariel's voice. 
Oh, like it fucking pains me. It pains me, bitch. Gold plated with five Swarovski crystals. Compact is refillable with any of their powders. It comes in a gold shimmer cream that can be used as a highlight for the cheeks and eye. I wish they would have just sold this for like $150 with no product in it. I don't want the product. Like, cut off some money, get that fucking product out of there. I would buy it in a heartbeat. Just to look at it. Just to look at it. It looks haunted, it looks fun, and the fact that I captured Ariel's voice in it, fuck Ariel. Like, I just love it so much. I love it so much. Then you have Maleficent's ring, bitch. Okay, a perfume encased in a custom cast replica of the ring worn by the evil fairy in the original animated film with gold plated solid stainless steel, black rose fragrance, which is a floral and woody scent. And it just looks so fucking good. Like I want these products. Just take the fucking shitty product out of it and cut down the price. If that, I would get that if that was like $75. If it was 75 bucks and I could walk around with a powerful ring, you best fucking believe I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna be, <laughs> just imagine what the fucking neighbors would say of me. <laughs> just walking around holding my Ursula compact with my fucking Maleficent ring. <laughs> uh. Listen, they want a Florida man, they'll get a Florida man. <laughs> We're still not done in the collection. Then you have some lipsticks for 30 bucks. So you have a Queen, Ursula, Maleficent, which the colors, um, I, with the exception of like Maleficent, the other ones I don't care about. You have nail polish that's $20. Okay, not bad. But then you have the Queen Shadow Book for $115 fucking dollars. So for 12 shades, which I mean, is still two more than say like a Pat McGrath palette, right? The shades are inspired by the artwork used in the films. The fucking palette looks so fun. That box looks so fun. And I just, you know what? I stopped myself because I remember picking up the Sleeping Beauty one and how that was such shitty fucking formula. It was so pretty and aesthetically pleasing to look at. But then when I realized how much I spent on it for something that was fucking cardboard, really fucking grinded my gears, okay? So I look at this and I go, oh, I'm gonna have the same exact experience from that. So it makes me less likely wanting to pick it up. I think it's beautiful. It looks really beautiful. And actually it's kind of funny. Some of the color story looks like the latest Kaleidos palette and Kaleidos quality is just fucking far better than Besame. So something to think about. But like, I love this whole collection and it's done so fucking right and it just pisses me off the fucking price of it it just ah like i'm 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 a fucking clown like we all know i'm a clown but like i have my limits <laughs> and the fucking lipton tea today kids is telling me it's a no-go <laughs> actually can you even buy it i am actually quite surprised no, I'm not. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that it's still available. Because I feel like it's just, who has that kind of money right now? I think if this was $125, I would have totally fucking jumped on it. I would have. I would. Even with the gross, creamy inside product, like, I would have jumped on it just because it's, like, such a cool piece. $225, you're like, you're out of your fucking mind. Like, you're just, no. Unless this thing literally makes me dinner, fucks me. Like, I don't <laughs> and also goes to work for me when I just don't feel like it, uh, then it's worth the money. But um, I don't think this knows how to type, so we're just not gonna do it. That said, we're gonna call this I'd rather not, because I'd rather not spend everything in my fucking bank account to buy this collection when I know it's going to be subpar quality. Insert air horn here. <laughs> i just rather not. Next. What is this? <laughs> What is this? I don't even know what this is. But I kind of like low-key kind of like it though because it's like so fucking cool. Our friends over at Hip Dot. I know. I feel like we haven't talked about Hip Dot in a while. Hip Dot kind of fell off the face of the earth and I thought, oh my god, they're banished. No, no, they came back. They came back with this collection, the Mighty Nine which I had no idea what any of this is. I also showed Alex it and he was like, what the fuck is this? So I'm like, all right, like it's obviously way out of our wheelhouse. What is this? And it turns out it's from Dungeons and Dragons, which that's cool. D&D, if you're a player, I'm not. Actually, I've never played D&D. I would be open to playing it, but I've just never been an opportunity to play it. But um, if you play it, I guess this collection is for you. So, all right, okay, fine. I think for me, what is a fucking just cool standout and it makes me kind of want it a little bit is the highlighter. Y'all know I am a sucker and a slut when it comes to highlighters. And there's just something so 
fucking cool about this highlighter. It kind of reminds me of the MAC Lunar highlighter, the one that was like a dragon embossing. It has the same feel. And kind of just based on that, I want to get it because it just looks so fucking cool. The rest of the collection is, is really kind of cute. Like the actual embossing on the products, it's top notch. It lo looks really well done. I'm curious to see what it would look like actually in person because obviously pictures tell a part of the story as opposed to you getting it actually in your hands. Um, I think the thing that's probably the least exciting is the palette. Again, I don't really know the correlation between the Mighty Nine and the color story. It could totally be spot on. It, I, whatever, it's fucking, it's lost on me. But three of the shades kind of look very similar and the pan embossings, they look okay in comparison to the pan embossing in the lipstick and the highlighter. If I were to pick up anything, Oh shit, it's available now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, it'll ship in December, in January. What the fuck? Wait, hold on, hold on. Am I really buying this from Hip Dot right now? Am I actually doing that? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Only sold September 8th to the 20th. What's today? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. No, I don't want the whole collection. Fuck you. This is bullshit. I don't want the whole, I just want one thing and I don't want to pay $86 for fucking a highlighter. Granted, I know I spent $100 on the spider one, but that's besides the point. <laughs> I learned my lesson, okay? What? That makes me so sad. Fuck, dude. All right, so this is a pre-order. The set is estimated to deliver between December to January. No cancellations, no changes, no refunds. Please order and do not add any other products. Okay, double check. Wow. That's so sad. I really like the fucking... Oh my god, what? Today is a special day. Not only are we applauding for Urban Decay for making me shut the fuck up, but we're also like mourning today for me being like kind of sad that I can't buy this highlighter from Hip Dot. I obviously am not feeling well. I think I'm running a fever. What the fuck? I, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm, that is the only explanation for this, okay? What the fuck? I can't, I can't. What is wrong with me? I need to go lay down. We need to cut this episode. <laughs> I need to go. I am fucked up. I am just, I need to lay down. Okay. All right. So, um, I guess I'm not going to get it because I have enough common sense not to spend $86 on something that's pretty basic shit. So, um, <sighs> I guess I'm just going to have to marble this from afar. Who the fuck am I? All right. Uh, we're going to call this, what are we going to call this on our bingo card? We're going to call this pretty embossing basic makeup. Hip dot makes basic makeup, but goddamn that embossing is beautiful. Fuck. Next. So did I already buy this? Yes. <laughs> and it just arrived today and it's in a box. Otherwise I would bring it up and show you. But um, but I love this. So One Size is collaborating with Disney and there is a face and eye palette that was $49, a point made waterproof liquid eyeliner pen for 19, a bit of magic highlighter, jewel ended lip snatcher for 28, a lipstick and lip gloss. Then there's a complexion brush for 34 and then the Mickey pop for $16. So the things that spoke to me in this collection was the palette, the highlighter and the puff. First of all, the puff, that's a fucking, that's a Mickey. Like, how I, I, I need to get that. As a weirdo Disney adult, my body needs it. The face and eye palette, the eye palette looks pretty basic. You know, that's fucking normal. But I love, I love One Size's blushes and bronzers. I think their powder products, when it comes to face, are something that I just, I fucking can't get enough of. It's actually a surprise because I can't believe how good they are. And not to sound shady and shitty, which I know sounds shady and shitty, but like, I just, I don't know, I wasn't really expecting much. It's like another brand, you know, like, I don't care whatever but like the quality of those particular products are fucking fantastic so when I knew that I was at least gonna get blushes in it to me that's kind of worth it like I love those little trios that they came out with I kind of need more of them the rest of the stuff eh, like I don't really give a fuck about too much Oh, the other thing is the highlighter when I saw that the pan embossing had that little bit of like a split image I was like what? Like it was witchcraft. I <laughs> I needed to have it. So that's why I bought it. The rest of the stuff in the collection, um, you know, like the lip product, whatever, it's a red. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The eyeliner, I don't really give a fuck about. I don't care. It's just the other things. I just hope to God that they're good. Being that it's a part of Disney, there's a good possibility that it's not going to be good. But rest assured, I'm still going to try it and I'll make a video on it because mama bought it and mama wants to know. And, it, you know, I'm just doing things for science, but not obsessed enough to spend $225 on a stupid metal fucking compact. <sighs> 
pick and choose, Teresa, pick and choose. Anyway, so <laughs> this looks cool. I like it. I like it. I think it's like really well done. It's a really cute collection. The only thing that's kind of um, kind of really interesting is that uh, this is based off of Fantasia. Fantasia is a very colorful film and the color story does not reach to that. If anything, it's just like a, another basic ass boring neutral palette and just stick a Disney thing on it. Like that's really what it is. But boy, am I a sucker for stuff. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I bought this. Expect a review uh, sometime soon, but I am gonna be doing a haul video because I have purchased quite a few things these days. I'll definitely show it to you in the haul. So uh, with that said, we're gonna call this. I already bought it and we're gonna keep on keeping on. Next. Uh, what the fuck is this? Okay, so our good friends over at Makeup Revolution have decided to collaborate with Game of Thrones. Like, I know that there's a new Game of Thrones show on there, but also, this is like eight years too late. <laughs> you know what actually makes me laugh? I don't like Game of Thrones. I, yeah, I said it. And it's not that I don't like it because I think it's a shitty show. Like, it, it's it, very well done. It's just, I don't care. Like, I just, I just don't care. I don't care about it. Everyone around me loves it, and I'm like, eh, uh -huh. And I know I talked a little bit about it because, um... I kind of stopped watching it around like the Red Wedding scene because I had too much anxiety about it because everyone was talking about it that I was like I can't watch it and I've never watched it. Uh, and then I decided to pick it up at the last season which was very stupid. Actually, I, l let me roll back a little bit. I asked Alex to explain it to me what has happened until we get to the last season which boy howdy he does not like doing that. Um, but I made him and it was very confusing because I asked a lot of questions which again I think he wanted to strangle me but that's besides the point. <laughs> anyway so I started watching the last season and the last season was really shitty. It was garbage. Um, and a lot of people felt that way and I think there was a it just to me it's, I don't know it's just so funny that it was a show that everyone like talked about and everyone was like oh my god ah. and then as soon as like the ending happened it was like radio silence because everyone was like oh man they did us dirty so i think it's really funny that um <laughs> there is a collection that's coming out because it's like i guess enough time has passed right but no in reality it's because there's like another game of thrones show on or whatever uh i mean from the few seasons that i did watch of this show i don't understand any of this i don't get it i don't understand any of it it's not doing anything for me if anything it's just like fucking polarizing palettes like what the fuck is the only thing that's cute and the only thing i would actually consider getting but i realized i could just buy a cricket and make it myself is the stupid fucking throne for the sponge i kind of love that like i think that is the fucking cutest thing there's a tiny little throne that i could put my sponge on that's fucking fun i love that everything else what is this what is this bullshit so you have the westeros map which it's a big map and it's just like two different color stories and it's mostly neutral except it'll have like a pop of green blue purple so it's like what is that that is just okay weird then you have the three-eyed raven palette you have the mother of dragons palette and winter is coming palette Honestly, these could have just been holiday releases or something and they could have just slapped on a Game of Thrones sticker. It's kind of all the same to me. Another heavy neutral palette. One that's kind of like a fall palette and the other one that's kind of like a winter palette. It's kind of like essentially what it is. It's meh, not really into it. The brushes don't look fun. They look kind of boring. Boring and basic. The lip products look okay. Again, I don't really see the connection but okay it is what it is they're they're pretty basic colors that you know i feel like there's something for everybody in that regard and then the last thing is wax what the fuck is this a soap styler oh interesting so for soap brows that's kind of intriguing like i would i don't want it but i'm like oh i've never actually like i never even thought of that why <laughs> why like on one hand it's like oh okay and then but ew <laughs> not ew but like ew Ew. It's kind of weird, right? Like, what would, what would be the connection to that? There's a velvet bag. There's some eyeliners. There's just a lot of shit. And it looks like some kind of, like, liquid doohickey. What are these? Are these liquid shadows? Maybe they're liquid shadows? I don't, I don't like this. <laughs> Chrissy, wake up. I don't like it. Everything is pretty fucking lackluster, and it looks really boring, with the exception of the stupid sponge holder. That sponge holder is king. It deserves a special place in the Makeup Hall of Fame. Like, that is fucking everything. And I don't understand why we don't celebrate our sponges more. <laughs> Actually, maybe there will be a company that comes out in 2023 that only does, like, holders. Like, really 
fun holders for your sponges. So like we have the Game of Thrones representation. So I'm trying to think, what could be another one? So like Ghostbusters, for example. <laughs> We could have like, you know, their car. The car could be a holder for like at least three sponges. That would be kind of fun. Maybe that's what I'm here for. Maybe I should make the fucking business. <laughs> Get a cricket, <laughs> open a Kickstarter, and just fucking make really just very random things from pop culture as sponge holders. Let me know if that's a good idea because maybe that's what my focus should be. <laughs> Get out of my real job and just start making little holders for my pawpaw sponge. I mean, why not, right? Everyone else has a business. Why can't I fucking capitalize? This took a weird turn. I blame the sickness that's living inside me. That said, we're gonna call this Makeup Revolution. I'm confused, but I'm not surprised, but I kind of want the sponge holder. That's all I got. But hey, if this is for you, yay? I don't know. Next. <laughs> The next collection is, oh, it's from our good friends over at Kaleidos. Okay, so Kaleidos is coming out with the Night of Creation collection. So there are two palettes and there's six multi-chrome liners. You're gonna see me talk about it on Wednesday's video because uh, I may or may not be having the same look. I filmed it earlier in the day and now I'm just getting progressively worse and sick and I wanna curl up in a ball. But um, spoiler, I will say, we'll talk about the palette then, but a couple of people have reached out to me because they know that I've received it in PR, I showed it on Instagram. Um, the multi-chrome eyeliners are where it's at. Like, they are fucking phenomenal. 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 If you are thinking about picking up anything, those are the things that I would say pick up. Those are the fucking best, and I plan on getting the whole set again because they're just that good. So the actual products and everything is gonna be releasing on Wednesday. For the full set, you can get for like $120. For the eyeliners, they're $79 if you want the whole set. Otherwise, they're about $16 a piece. And then the um, actual quads are about $22. I feel like everything is appropriately priced, especially considering it's an indie brand and especially for like a multi-chrome eyeliner situation. I'm a very big fan of the Sugar Drizzle eyeliners. I definitely think the Kaleidos ones are better. And the reason for that is, is that you do not need to layer them over anything for them to be incredibly opaque. The Sugar Drizzle ones, while I never really use them as like a decorative liner, they really looked amazing over a black base. While they did show up in the waterline, it was just like a little something something. When I tried the Kaleidos one in the waterline, I was like, oh my God, I, I actually fucking beside myself. It's so opaque and they last really, really long. And it's for someone who has very sensitive, watery eyes, all right? I'm usually suffering. Um, these are definitely fucking here to stay. So I highly recommend checking those out and I'll shut the fuck up. But if you are curious about how I got this look, which is pretty fucking fun, check out Wednesday's video for sure. But um, yeah, I'm gonna call these all the multi-chromes and shut up, but it's gonna be releasing on Wednesday. Pick them up. I'm telling you now, I'm gonna be picking up a set and trying actually to buy them all because I love them that much. <laughs> uh, we're gonna call this all the multi-chromes and keep on keeping on. Next. So the next product is, ugh, Kylie. <laughs> Kylie Cosmetics, what the f how much is this shit? Okay, so Kylie Cosmetics is coming out, which is available already, the holiday collection. <laughs> And, oh, that hurts. So in this collection, there's a liquid lipstick set, high gloss lip gloss ornaments, blush and highlighter palettes, and then there's another ornament. Okay, so the <laughs> the liquid lipstick set, five matte liquid lipsticks and four high gloss lip glosses, 150 fucking dollars. And it looks, are they like minis? What the fuck? Is this minis? One of them looks like it's minis. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, I, that's kind of strange. The other thing is the blush and highlighter palette. First of all, packaging is, is very reminiscent, I feel like, to uh, Natasha Denona in a weird way. Uh, I don't know, it's just kind of giving me that vibe. But like the colors are, they're just okay. Whatever, who cares? I have tried highlighters from Kylie. They're just fine. Nothing to really to write home about, so mm. Nothing special. The ornaments though, they're the kind of ornaments I would find in like the dollar section of Target. And for the dollar section, it's great. But to pay $16 for that, are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> Again, another issue where I could just take my Cricut and make it myself, okay? And I don't even own a Cricut. At this point, I feel like I should just buy a Cricut just for the joke, okay? <laughs> but like, I don't know, this is so kind of lazy and also really kind of confusing. Well, yes, brands are posting their holiday stuff. It's kind of wild that 
it's currently available right now. I would think that this would be at least like, I don't know, like a month from now. I guess uh, Kylie's not doing a Halloween collection, which not gonna lie, it kind of breaks my heart a little bit because it's the only time I get suckered into buying her shit. But this is kind of so, eh, not really into it. I want to like this more. I want this to be cuter. Considering, was it last year or the year before, I almost fucking got suckered into buying Kylie cosmetics. I think it was like the Grinch collection. It was so well done. I was fucking beside myself. That's the energy I was looking for and said we just get this weird target dollar section shit. No. Also $150 for the fucking lip products. Like, clutch my pearls. Not in this economy, bitch. <laughs> this is a no for me, dog. <laughs> also, where's your Halloween collection? Also, people are saying in the comments that this was available last year or this was gonna be out last year and then they canceled it. I don't know. I, don't know. I feel some type of way about that. If that's true. Holy shit. That's a no for me, dog. Seriously, what the fuck, man? Grinch or nothing. Like, this is bullshit. <laughs> give me a Halloween collaboration and give me the Grinch. <laughs> Don't give me whatever the fuck this is. This is bullshit, Ugh, whatever. We're gonna call this more holiday bullshit because it's more holiday bullshit that you don't need. Ugh, no. Next. I don't know how I feel about these. Um, oh, okay. So Chanel, our friends over at Chanel, they're releasing the tweed blushes. And I know I talked about the last Chanel collection and how ugly, ugly the pan embossing was and how it just looked dirty. And that's the vibe I'm getting for this. Which is kind of sad because I really love the quality of Chanel. I think Chanel makes some really fucking good makeup products. Their blushes, oh bitch, they are to die for. Okay, they're like very gorgeous. And when I look at this, I go, oh, this looks so ugly. <laughs> it's so ugly and gross. And I'm sorry, but like I know what their tweed pattern looks like. And their tweed pattern is not this. Okay, their tweed pattern is pretty. This is just, mmm. This is, you know, this reminds me of, this reminds me of like fucking silly putty and newspaper print. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I'm just, I'm just taking my silly putty, putting in some newspaper print and then fucking around with it. So it's all kind of like smeared out and gross. Like that's what this reminds me of. There's nothing cute about them. I don't give a shit. There's nothing cute about them. Especially for the price tag of these little fuckers. Like I want to like them more. I know I have one Chanel product that has like this really beautiful pan embossing. I think it was like floral. It was like half highlighter, half blush or whatever. If I remember it, I'll just, I'll, I don't feel like getting up. I'm so fuck. I feel like if I get up, I'm just gonna pass out. Uh, <laughs> uh, I remember I'll put it up in the corner. Like I see something like that and I think, oh my God, like that's stunning. Um, so to see something like this, it just feels so like, what is this? But I am curious though about the colors. Like the colors look kind of cool. The tweed kind of pattern to it, especially like the middle row. I'm like, ooh, ooh. I just don't like how fucking just unfinished they look. They look incomplete. Like, it looks like something's missing and I don't like that. So it's like, yes, but no. Um, if these ever come to Ulta, because now Chanel's at Ulta, I would consider potentially, potentially, maybe getting it. Or if maybe if they like, I don't know if they're at Neiman or Nordstrom or something like that. I kind of want to see these in person because maybe it's the picture that's like fucking it up for me. And if I see it in person, I'm going to realize how wonderful they are. But right now you're not selling it. You're not, you're not giving me life. If anything, you're scaring me and I don't like it. So, <laughs> Chrissy, wake up. I don't like this. No. So I don't think I can call this anything except I don't know how I feel about this yet. So TBD. Next. Speaking of same shit, different packaging, <laughs> we have more holiday goodies. And I think we talked about them before. More stuff has been released. So the NARS Holiday Collection is such a disappointment. Oh God, okay. There's a Stargaze eyeshadow palette and then there's like the Rising Star Cheek palette. And then you have the Backstage Cheek set and then the Kiss the Stars Matte Duo. So I am not, a, like the eyeshadow palette I think is just okay. Sometimes NARS, like I, I know I always give them shit or whatever, but sometimes they come out with like really fucking cool pieces. Uh, like their summer palette was fucking awesome. I didn't even see that fucking coming. Like it was really good. The one red palette, the Climax palette, that was fucking phenomenal. This though, it's just like, it feels like something that I've already seen and I can't quite put my finger on it. So I feel like this is kind of like a repeat of something. But I think what kind of really just annoys the shit out of me though is the uh, cheek palette. The cheek palette looks almost identical to the palette that came out last year. Like I don't know too much about NARS lore. So like, I don't know if it's like always this, the cheek palette is like the same bullshit every year and they just switch up the pan embossing and, and the packaging. I don't know. 
know? But it's just so fucking bleh, bleh. And if it's anything like last year's cheek products where the packaging was like 10 out of 10, but the inside was just okay, it makes me less likely wanting to pick them up. I, I don't like this packaging. I don't know. I just feel like it reminds me of like, you know, the stars that you had in your bedroom as a kid. Like it's just, but not in like a fun nostalgic way. It's just kind of gross. I don't like it. I want to like this more. I want to like this more. You know, actually now looking at the the Stargaze palette, if you're looking at it a little bit closer, there are some shades that I'm like, ooh, like the purples kind of look pretty unique, but then I'm like, do I really fucking need this? I don't know. Let's put a pin on this one too, because it's like a part of me kind of, oh, I kind of like the swatches now. Now looking at it, I'm like, oh, you know, I talked a big fucking game, but you know what? I kind of like the swatches of the palette and they look pretty fucking good. Is it something I've seen before? Yes, but now I kind of want it. I hate how that works on me so fucking well. <sighs> so well. Nothing is worse than like hot cold tea. Ugh, ugh. I don't like it. Definitely the rising star blush highlighter bullshit. I I don't think I want to get that. <laughs> no, I gotta I gotta hold firm. I'm planting my feet down. I don't think I want this. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But this is definitely same shit new packaging, especially for that blush palette. The eyeshadow palette looks eerily familiar too, right? Am I? Maybe the sickness is eating my brain, but like, I don't know. It looks familiar and I can't quite put my finger on it. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to call it same shit new packaging. And um, who are we kidding? I'm probably going to buy this. All right. <laughs> next. God, I hate me. Next, next, next. What is this? <laughs> no, what is this? I hate this so much. Dior, our good friends over at Dior, created an eyeshadow palette with a very beautiful floral pattern. There's no denying that. But it's a natural beige and golden shades around a deep brown. It's $65. Oh my God, for a hot second there, hot second. I thought the deep brown actually wasn't even a brown eyeshadow. I just thought it was like a black plastic emblem because that's just how fucked up my brain is right now. I was like, oh, you're only getting four shades. Nope. Dum Dum, you're getting five shades. What is this? Who is this for? This is so fucking, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's like the factory forgot to put the other fucking colors in the palette and they were like, hopefully no one notices. I can't even imagine how different those look on the eye. Like, really? Like, I get it sometimes, you know, having a shade very similar can offer some sort of dimension, right? Even if it's subtle, it will offer dimension. This is just, I feel like, all one, the same fucking color. You might as well just take out the fucking metal pieces and just make it one color and then call this a fucking duo and knock how much money off this? And knock $30 off. <laughs> That's what you probably should have done instead of come up with literally three shades of the same thing, one slightly deeper, and a brown shade. Basically, you're buying a trio for $65. Like, again, in this economy? <laughs> what the fuck? What is going on? I'm actually kind of surprised with Dior because I feel like Dior has been putting out these five pan palettes that have been really breathtaking, right? That have been really fucking cool. Or on the basic side, but just timeless. This is just lazy. <laughs> I don't know, this is a no for me, but I would love to know if any of y'all purchased this. And if you did, if you wanna shut me the fuck up and show me <laughs> that they're actually <laughs> fucking uh, different shades in here, that would be wonderful. Because right now, babe, this all looks the same to me. What the fuck? It's like a weird magic eye. Like, I feel like I should be seeing something different, but I'm not. I don't know, the more I look at it, the more creeped out I feel from it. It kinda is in the same level of the weird uh, KKW flesh bottles. You remember like the weird flesh perfume bottles that the brand came out with that basically look like they should come from a serial killer's crawl space? It's that, but in an eyeshadow formula. That's terrifying. Why is this making me uncomfortable? <laughs> oh, this is so scary. Is it their Halloween release? <laughs> I don't like this. Again, Chrissy, wake up. I don't like this. No, fucking no. Anyway, we're gonna call this, she doesn't even go here. Cause this bitch doesn't even go here. She deserves never to be made. Anyway, next. The next product we have is from Bella Beauty Bar. This looks so fucking cute. This is the Strange and Unusual palette, and I believe it's coming out kind of soonish. Um, I may or may not have received this in PR. Um, this one's cool though. So there's 15 shades. There are four multi-chromes, one iridescent multi-chrome, three duochromes, five mattes, one matte shimmer. 
I don't like that, but whatever, we'll try it out anyway. And then one shimmer. This looks so fucking fun and funky, and I love the colors in this. This is like another really great Halloween edition. First we started with Batty Beans palette, right? Like the Hollow Bean palette, which I cannot wait to fucking put my hands on. That one I feel like kind of jump-started this season. And now we have this one in tow, which looks really fucking good. I recently tried the brand, and if you want to see a review talking about the Celestial Garden palette, I'll link it in the corner. And then of course, on Wednesday, I talk a little bit more about the Oracle palette, which I'm currently wearing on my face today. The fucking highlighters are awesome. I really, really love it. And this one just looks really fucking cool. So I can't wait to uh, make a video on it and put this all over my fucking face. The shade Beetlejuice and Lost Souls. And recently deceased, like just make for like a toxic swampy green moment that I can't wait to put on my face. And then of course, Miss Argentina. If it's what I think it is, it's gonna look so fucking sick. So I can't wait to try this. Um, there is like one little swatch of it. Oh, bitch. It is sparkly as fuck. Holy shit. Oh my god. If I keep staring at this long enough, I'm gonna be fucking hypnotized. That's fucking... What? Oh, I can't wait to put this on my fucking face. <sighs> That is so fucking cool. Holy shit. There's like this red green moment that's just so perfect. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm really excited, I'm really excited. <laughs> um, I can't wait to put this all over my fucking face. This is so adorable. I love the packaging. I love Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is just like one of my favorite movies. I love the cartoon. I love everything about it. And um, the other thing I haven't seen was actually the Broadway show. I actually heard it was pretty good, but I did not see that. This just looks fucking awesome. I love it. And I love that it's Lydia reading the handbook for the recently deceased. This is so fucking cute. So I can't wait to put this on my face. Expect a review when I get it, but um, this looks adorable. I can't wait to uh, slap it all over my face. The fucking multi-chrome looks sick. It's so sparkly and fun. I love it. Anyway, we're gonna call this our new square, which I think is like spooky ooky makeup. And we're gonna keep on keeping on, but this is fucking amazing. I love it. Next. Oh, we have another indie brand. Okay, okay. So we have a new company called New Yorker Cosmetics. I mean, I kind of feel like I have to check this out, right? I feel like it would be fucked up of me not to fucking try this or pick this up or look at it. So New Yorker Cosmetics came out with their first palette. It's the NYC palette, uh, I'm guessing for New Yorker Cosmetics. It's an all matte eyeshadow palette with 12 pigmented and long lasting shades for $25. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Oh, this is fun. So, oh, okay. So it looks like a lot of the shades are actually neighborhoods or towns, I should say. A lot of it has like, a lot of it is Long Island representation, which is fine. I'm a Queens girl, but listen, I do love me some Long Island. So we have Freeport, Babylon, Icelandia. Can I tell you, I, there's something about Icelandia that's just like really weird, um, <laughs> but I love. It's, for me, it's like Icelandia is only Dave and Buster's. And if you know, you know, I think it's on, oh God, what's the highway? I think it's like 454 or something like that. I don't think it's 347, no, I think it's 454. Any of my Long Island babies will know exactly what I'm talking about. But there, I don't know if it still is, is there, probably is, but there's a Dave and Buster's. And when me and my husband uh, were first dating, that was probably one of the places that we would go constantly. And and why? Because we both love video games and we both love food. <laughs> so we would uh, do like the power play card thing. It would be like 20 bucks and like you get like a whatever random entree, $20 worth of credit to go play in the arcade. I used to get fucked up on their tea and tea drinks, which is basically a Long Island iced tea. I think at one point, because I would leave the glasses at his house, there was like five or six glasses. Everyone was drinking out of them. <laughs> and then I would get drunk and then I'd go play skee ball and uh, we would just rack up all all the, all, we would just rack up all our tickets so that I would just buy something very weird in their like little shop. So for a while I was hoarding tickets so that I could buy a giant ashtray, which was amazing because I used to smoke cigarettes and uh, my Dave and Buster's ashtray was fucking everything. Uh, but then I used to get some cookie monsters. I think I got like a pig at one point. And then if anybody was with us, I'd treat them to like an eraser. <laughs> just like, you know, whatever children's toys they had. But anyway, that to me is Icelandia. Love that. Uh, we have Ocean Beach, Ocean Side, Island Park, Stony Brook. Oh, Stony Brook. Stony Brook has really good ramen. It's called Say Ramen. It's really good. If you are ever out there, 
That one's great. Then you have the Long Island shade. Oh, Mastic, holy shit. Mastic, oh my God. Yeah, Mastic. That's also South Shore, like Suffolk County. Castle Hills, isn't Castle Hills? That's the Bronx, I think that's the Bronx. And then Bay Shore. Oh, I like that this, like a lot of it is pretty much like a Southern, yeah, like Southern Long Island representation. You do have Stony Brook, which is like the North, but this is kind of cute. I don't know, like maybe it's just because my brain is not functioning right now. <laughs> But it kind of, I don't know, makes me like miss Long Island a little bit. And it makes me sad now more than ever because I know it, as we're approaching fall, there it's probably, oh God, it's probably really beautiful. It's probably not even humid. <laughs> it's probably so lovely and the fucking trees change color while here it's all fucking palm trees and shit, which is still very lovely. But there's something about watching leaves change that is just so like, it's everything. But I like this. So um, I have to say the colors, I don't necessarily know if, for me anyway, the colors represent that town. Like, I don't know if I would think of pink for mastic. I don't know. But Stony Brook, I feel like, yeah, that totally makes sense. I don't know why, but I feel like that mustard makes sense for Stony Brook. But I kind of want to get this. It feels very 90s especially the actual logo of it. It reminds me of like things I, I've seen in the 90s. I don't know, it's like something fun about this. So I wanna pick this up because it's giving me all the fucking feels right now. And I don't know, maybe, maybe I am a little homesick and I miss my mom and I miss Chinese food and pizza and bagels and matzo ball soup, which I fucking wish I could have right now because my throat is killing me. But I like this and I kind of miss New York a little bit. Actually, no, I don't. <laughs> I just missed like maybe five things. Everything else I'm like, no, 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 no. There's a reason why you left, bitch. <laughs> There's a reason why you left. Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this up. And if anything, if the quality shit, whatever, who cares? It's just a reminder of where I came from. And for that, sometimes that's enough. So I like that. We're gonna call this nostalgia. We meet again because motherfucker, we meet again. And this looks really cute. Next. And there you have it, my little clams. We hit our makeup bingo. And actually, I'm not that mad about it because my throat is killing me right now. <sighs> anyway, now I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you're getting any of these products, if you love them, if you hate them, or if there's a makeup product that recently came out that you would like for me to talk about. Let me know and let me know in the comments and all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. Definitely go check out Emily and Audra's videos and tell them I said, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Hi. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go lay down. <laughs> I'm gonna go get another glass of tea that's not cold, cause this is gross. And maybe some Theraflu. And I'm just gonna lay in bed. So yeah. I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Oh God, who am I? I obviously am sick. I don't even know my outro. Oh God. <laughs> the world's closing in on me. <sighs> anyway, with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron babies. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really disgusting actually. Garbage boat afloat, I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just wanna gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we could be one. And it'll be a great old time. If you wanna know what is currently on my face, I'll make sure to leave all that stuff in the description box down below. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.